Hello everyone, my name is Grant. I am a cybersecurity student who is completing an undergraduate degree in cybersecurity. Now, even though I love what I do and I'm very interested in the cybersecurity industry in general, I lack clarity with where exactly I want to go or what position I want to pursue within cybersecurity. There's many different types of career options uh, that you can pursue or positions that you can pursue when you are in cybersecurity. And even though it stereotypically appears that cybersecurity is limited to a specific few professions, specifically um, ethical hacking, there actually is a lot of different positions that you can pursue. I keep saying pursue. <laughs> so I thought in today's video I would outline just a few of the entry-level careers that I have considered and that you maybe can consider as well. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically it for this video. If you could care less about what the positions are, like the descriptions, here they are on the screen uh, regarding the different types of entry-level careers that I will be talking about in today's video. Keep in mind, for a few things. First, I'm not an expert, so I don't know every single pos position in cybersecurity. Many of these different roles that I'm about to mention have many different titles depending on the company. For instance, you may have one company that calls an instant handler, instant handler, another one that calls it SOC Analyst 1. So it just depends on the company. And these are not the only entry level careers in cybersecurity. With that being said, let's first start out with a cybersecurity analyst. One of the most common and well-known entry-level positions when it comes to cybersecurity, besides maybe an ethical hacker, is a cybersecurity analyst. Most commonly, a security analyst is assessing ways to detect and prevent weaknesses to the overall security posture within a company and the security infrastructure. Now, this could be in the forms of software, hardware, networking, or systems. It just depends on what the security analyst is doing. If you are in a small company, you're gonna be doing all of that. You're gonna be assessing the different types of infrastructure. If you're in a bigger company, you may have one specific uh, area that you're assessing. As a security analyst, you're gonna be doing a lot of your jobs based off of priority, meaning there's gonna be different security incidents that happen or security vulnerabilities and weaknesses that pop up that may be, that may take priority over certain projects. You're gonna ex probably be exposed to um, some pen testing, some auditing, uh, some intrusion prevention, and some compliance. It, again, it just depends on the company size. If you're in a smaller company, you're gonna be doing a lot of different things, whereas if you're in a bigger company, you may only have experience with one. So a security analyst does a lot of things, and this is probably where I'm gonna end up uh, as an entry level uh, position in cyber. Although it's not talked about in the cybersecurity learning community often, cybersecurity auditing and performing audits in general is one very important part to cybersecurity. A security auditor probes for the safety and effectiveness of a security in company. Now this could be both internal and external. So you could be an auditor for your company that internally audits the company, or you could be an external auditor that goes to different companies and audits their security program. Once you access the scope of an organization, you will be expected to provide your findings and documentation. You're gonna be suggesting any improvements to the possible security issues that you found, as well as the best practices within the industry that you will provide for this company so that they can take immediate action after this audit. Security auditors are all about assessment and analyzing. A security specialist and analyst are often referred to as the same position. However, unlike an analyst, which 
most likely, like you say in the name, that you analyze for possible security weaknesses or problems in the company. A security specialist is gonna be more about designing, testing, implementing, and monitoring the overall security posture of a company. If you are regarded as a higher level security specialist, you will often be tasked with ensuring that security is embedded within design. So whether that's within a data center or building a specific project in the cloud, for example, uh, you're gonna make sure that you're designing something that has the security mindset in mind. The next position is an incident handler, which rapidly addresses security incidents and threats within an organization. You will often be using forensic tools and probing for artifacts or evidence for of the uh, potential security risk or security attack. So think of an incident handler like a firefighter, except it's a cyber firefighter. In addition to immediately responding to security threats, you may be also engaging in pen testing, intrusion detection, and handling of evidence so that you can give it off to a forensics analyst or investigator to do some more further or deeper investigation. Being able to thrive under pressure as a incident handler is for sure a skill that you are gonna have to have if you're gonna be successful. I think a lot of us like to think of a penetration tester or an ethical hacker when the word cybersecurity comes to mind. It's what the mainstream media really portrays. It's for sure the glorified part of the industry and it's the most popular aspiration among most of the young students who are just considering a career in cybersecurity. Now as a pen tester, your primary goal is to probe for security weaknesses and vulnerabilities within a security or, or not security organization, an organization. These vulnerabilities could be in web applications, they could be software, they could be hardware, uh, they could be system vulnerabilities, uh, they could be all kinds of vulnerabilities, for example. And after finding these vulnerabilities, you are expected to exploit these vulnerabilities and try to get into an organization. Now, after you've gone into an organization and most often than not, you've gained domain admin, uh, you are expected to document your findings as well as suggest ways that the company could immediately take action to improve or mitigate the effects of these weaknesses. So you're essentially trying to test an organization's security and see if they can counter those effects with valid security controls. And that's really what a pen tester is about. A vulnerability assessor is similar to a pen tester, except oftentimes you are scanning for and identifying vulnerabilities. You aren't necessarily exploiting these vulnerabilities. Oftentimes you will be managing a vulnerability scanner or many vulnerability scanners, depending on how big your organization is. And these vulnerability scanners are gonna be testing for publicly known vulnerabilities or vulnerabilities that have already been disclosed. And once you've found these and you've conducted a vulnerability scanner scan, you're expected to present your findings uh, to higher level administration, as well as suggest some ways that you can go ahead and start applying these patches to these vulnerabilities. And you may be asked to patch a few of these vulnerabilities, but it's really gonna depend on if you have control of where exactly you found these vulnerabilities and if you're even able to have access to that part of the network. So a vulnerability assessor is more passive, takes a more passive approach than a pen tester who is actually exploiting a vulnerability. So there you have it. Those are a few of the positions that you can pursue in cybersecurity. There's a lot of possibility and responsibility out there. And in my opinion, it's what makes cybersecurity so interesting. It's not boring. Um, there's always something more that you can do or learn. And even though you could be a cybersecurity expert, there's always a learning opportunity. So I think it's really important that you expose yourself to the different types of positions in cybersecurity, specifically starting with entry level, since that you will, that's what you'll start with, so that you know um, where you want to go or what, what, what possible interests that you can pursue in the industry um, before you get real, real far into your studies. 
it's really going to help you maybe gain a sense of direction once you have or start learning cybersecurity. There's a common resource that I use when it comes to looking up cybersecurity careers called cyberdegrees.org. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Cyberdegrees has an outline of not only the jobs in cybersecurity, but all the different types of security degrees, whether that's bachelor's, associates, online, master's, PhD, um, in the United States. So if you are looking for a resource that can help you out. I recommend cyberdegrees.org. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have maybe learned something new. Uh, I always learn something new. And until the next time, have a good day, I think. Right? All right, whatever. Have a good day.